a study on the performance analysis and uh, test tool development for uh, maritime autonomous uh, surface uh, ships. Hi, my name is Kwang Il Lee from Korean Maritime and Ocean University. Uh, this work actually co work with uh, Yun Song Lee from Korea Maritime and Ocean University and the one Sok Chang from uh, CMP Korea. Uh, the title of my talk is a study on performance analysis and test tool development for MAS. Actually, this one is for uh, how we evaluate uh, uh, MAS system, actually, MAS navigation system. Uh, the content of my talk is background, system overview, test method and scenarios, analysis and evaluation, and conclusion. Uh, detail in the maritime industry is uh, um, key uh, issues currently. A lot of keywords in navigation, smart ship, and shipping 4.0, smart port. These keywords uh, are introduced. And then the issue is how we can uh, accelerate all those op uh, operation uh, from the production to uh, delivery. For this, uh, intelligent maritime ITS becomes more important. To achieve maritime uh, ITS, the mass has uh, important roles. How we can uh, achieve seamless maritime data connectivity with the mass? All maritime service shall be automated and streamlined. Systems device can be operated and monitored by digitalization, and device and systems shall be integrated and interoperated. As you might know, a lot of uh, uh, autonomous ship related uh, projects currently, starting from the Moonin, and a lot of uh, uh, projects are undergoing. So, uh, IMO has interested in how to uh, realize the, how to support. Uh, mass autonomous ship. So the issue is uh, uh, RSE work is finalized. They are identifying the uh, regulation regulatory framework and revision and new mass code needs to be developed and performance need to be provided. And then uh, they need to test and evaluate the mass system. The issue is how to evaluate the autonomous navigation system. You know, there is no the big to testing the big ship is not a, uh, easy issues. There are uh, uh, different levels of autonomous navigation skills, and then need to test the system regardless of manufacturer and service provider and users. And so we need to develop a common evaluation system for the testing, and then uh, evaluation needs to be based on the scalable and realistic scenario. To develop an uh, uh, evaluation system for mass, we uh, developed a simulation-based uh, evaluation system. Uh, this consists of simulation frameworks and uh, evaluation scenario. Simulation framework uh, consists of autonomous navigation framework and standard interface and scalable and plug and play. Evaluation scenarios uh, identification of navigation skill uh, because they are uh, providing different navigation skills. So, and then realistic and various scenarios and then uh, how to evaluate uh, the results. Those kind of th uh, things need to be considered for the evaluation scenarios. This is the, our work process uh, define the item and then testing and evaluation. Uh, system overview is the like uh, uh, we are developing the uh, basic simulation framework, and then uh, this simulation framework is uh, inter working with uh, uh, actual simulator. Also, we are connecting to EMS and uh, simulation network to interworking with. So we have a local simulator and the simulation network interface we are providing. And then uh, to, for the testing of the mass uh, autonomous navigation system is interworking with our simulation framework. And then using this one, we are going to uh, simulate. 
and testing. So uh, all the, um, the autonomous navigation system and simulation frame, all the, inter all the information uh, shall be collected and managed. And then this information uh, shall be analyzed by DIS analyzer. Uh, and then for the evaluation, uh, what kinds of evaluation items need to be considered? Uh, for this, uh, we are uh, uh, interviewed with uh, uh, navigation officer and pilots, and then a lot of uh, lecturers and professors. So using their comments, we uh, identify all the evaluation items, and then all those evaluation items are uh, embedded in the, our uh, evaluation system. So uh, evaluation, uh, we consider the so course keeping, course changing, and collision avoidance. So we have uh, a lot of obstacles and another uh, navigation um, on different ships. And then navigation area is uh, uh, the three areas uh, in the Korea. And then autonomous navigation level, uh, we are defined these following three. Basic and intermediate expert. Based on this one, we are defining uh, different uh, uh, test scenario. Actually, we developed 10 different scenarios using our ship, and the two scenarios are provided for the basic. And then we are, as an obstacles, we are uh, using three, uh, three obstacles so, fishing net, and then another container, and uh, another uh, vessels in here. And the intermediate level, we define the six and then different types of ships uh, by passing our navigation during uh, the simulator, simulating ships. And then two export level, different uh, and complex navigation scenario using the uh, these kinds of ship and uh, fishing. And then we are uh, you know, evaluating all those scenarios with the, our uh, test procedures. This is some example how we can uh, test and test results and then what's the test results. For the EMS and connections, uh, as we mentioned, we are going, uh, we are going to develop more uh, complex and then uh, scalable uh, test simulation test for those purpose we uh, interconnect with EMSN and so data tracker 8.0 is installed and then more interconnection need to be developed in the future and then uh, we are the, uh, collecting all the navigation information uh, using the real-time information so you, this uh, inform using this information the evaluation might be performed uh, this is the uh, brief summary of the, our uh, simulations. Uh, navigation system evaluation is essential for the mass. So, uh, for the uh, evaluation system, common platform for the various manufacturers and users, and realistic navigation scenarios, service scenarios, and scalable and extended service scenario might be uh, necessary to test for the mass and uniform evaluation system for the mass might be necessary. Our simulation-based performance analysis system is a DIS-based autonomous navigation uh, system classified and develop autonomous navigation service scenarios uh, based on accident records. So uh, this apply for the navigation evaluation system uh, for navigation officer and pilots. Uh, we need to work further, fully integrate with uh, EMS and network, and then more various and extensive analysis and evaluation uh, is needed to be performed in the near future. Thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. Let us give a brief uh, thanks for uh, Kong and Lee's presentation.